In 2019, ASUS released the Pro Art Studio Book One at the IFA exhibition, which is also the first laptop equipped with NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000 graphics. It's also equipped with a high-density power adapter with an output power of up to 300 watts. It supports fixed 48 volts output, and the maximum current is 6.25 amp. This product also adopts Navita's GameFast Power IC. So let's see its appearance. Firstly, the product adopts a pure white shell, and the shape is like a brick. It comes with a cable, and the output adopts a three-prong interface. Thanks to the GAN technology, high-performance architecture, and compact layout, the overall size is very small, just a half of the conventional 300 watts power supply. NVIDIA is printed here. Then we can see the model is NVD-A-0300ADU00. It supports input of 100 to 240 volts and output of 48 volts, 6.25 amp. Total output is 300 watts. In terms of size, the length is about 92 millimeter. The width is about 91 millimeter. The thickness is about 28 millimeter. So the power density is 1.2 watts cubic centimeter, which is very high. The output port looks like the USB-C, but it's actually a special port with three holes. The weight is about 538 grams. Use the cutting machine to open it. A graphite layer is wrapped in the PCB module for heat dissipation, and there are two aluminum heat sinks between the shell and PCB. The copper heat sink is also equipped to the output end. The input and output cables are in the same corner. The isolation board is in the middle. The input end has three cores, and output end has six cores. There is a magnetic ring on the output cores. The shape of the PCB module is also very square. Then let's remove the aluminum heat sinks and graphite layer. The front is very densely arranged with capacitors, inductors, transformers, and other components. And the thermal adhesives have filled the gaps between those components, which can fix them and dissipate heat. The SMD components are on the back. A thermal pad is used to enhance heat dissipation. Then remove the thermal adhesives. We found it has multiple small PCBs on the front side, which can improve space utilization. The control circuit is on the back. Treasure Lab found it adopts the high-performance architecture of PFC and LLC. The input side has time delay fuses, common mode trogs, safety X capacitors, and other components. Here are two small PCBs equipped with heat sinks. The time delay fuse is 250 volts, 6.3 amp. There are two common mode trogs. This is safety X capacitor. There is a discharge chip of X capacitor on the back of the PCB, which comes from NXP TEA 1708T. A small PCB is behind the common mode trog. This is the small PCB of active bridge rectifier. Those are infinite MOS vats. It adopts tool package and belongs to Cool MOS S7 series. Specification is 600 volts, 22 milliohm. There is a chip and two MOSFETs on the other side of the small PCB. 
This chip is a dual-channel synchronous rectifier controller, which comes from MPS-MP6924. Those two MOSFETs are also from Infineon, which adopts SOT223 package. Specification is 650 volts, 600 milliohm. This is the PCB of Active Bridge Rectifier. The Infineon's MOSFET and driver are on the front side. The other side is the same. Both Infineon drivers are same model. It supports isolation voltage of 1200 volts and 10 amp current output. Both MOSFETs are also the same model. There are two film capacitors and one inductor on the left corner for filtering. The PFC boost inductor is on the right. There is a rectifier bridge from diodes on the main PCB used to power primary circuit. The PFC boost inductor is composed of two inductors and a detection coil. Turn it back, here is the PFC boost controller which comes from ON Semiconductor NCP1632. It integrates dual MOSFET drivers. Two diodes are next to it, which come from WIN NXPSC04650D. Specification is 650V 4 amp. There is a diode between the PFC controller and two MOSFETs used for startup protection. The LLC controller is a high-performance current mode controller for half-bridge resonant converters. Model is ON Semiconductor NCP13992. It integrates 600 volts gate driver and can control the PFC controller. The optocoupler straddles the primary and secondary circuit of PCB used to regulate voltage. This is digital temperature sensor which comes from Maxim MAX31826. It can detect the temperature and control the power to prevent the power supply from overheating. Here are two SMDY capacitors. A large electrolytic capacitor from Capaxon is in the middle. Specification is 420 volts, 150 microfarad. There are two small capacitors between the large capacitor and the transformer. The specification is 35 volts, 220 microfarad. And the other one is 35 volts, 47 microfarad, all from Capaxon. A metal heat sink is welded to PCB, and we can see four GAN fits on the other side. Two for PFC boost and the other two for the half bridge structure. The PFC boost circuit adopts Navita's GANFAST chip and QFN 6.8mm package. Model is MV6127. Its integrated driver can support 10 to 30 volts and up to 2 MHz switching frequency. Those two chips are also Navita's MV6127. The LLC resonant inductor is wound with least wire. This is LLC transformer. A small PCB is next to the main transformer and a large heat sink is attached to the outside. Remove this PCB, which is the secondary synchronous rectifier module, and there are two synchronous rectifier chips and moist spats on it. The synchronous rectifier comes from ON Semiconductor NCP43080D, and the other side is the same circuit. The moist spats adopt Infineon BSC093N15NS5. Specification is 150 volts, 9.3 milliohm. The output filtering part has two electrolytic capacitors. This electrolyte capacitor comes from Capaxon. Specification is 63 volts, 390 microfarad. The other one comes from Caution Electronics. Specification is 63 volts, 220 microfarad. Well, that's all components of this 300 watts NVIDIA GAN charger. This charger hasn't been officially launched, but its structure is very impressive. It is developed based on PFC and LLC architecture. However, the PFC boost part adopts a whole new solution. The rectifier bridge uses Infineon MOSFET to cooperate with the driver and is controlled by MPS MP6924. Compared with the traditional rectifier bridge, it can reduce loss and improve efficiency. And multiple small boards inside can make full use of the PCB and reduce the overall size. So what do you think of this 300 w small charger? Please leave your comments below. You can subscribe to us for more power-related products. See you guys in the next video. Bye!